Alrighty, we are on non-Western philosophy week ten, week 10, excuse me, this is going to be over the reading critical summary. Um, so to start, um, over the uh, lesson critical summary, I dug into a, a few gods um, for theistic Hinduism, but now we're going to dig into what theistic Hinduism is through the reading. So theistic Hinduism, the word Hindu has a place, name, is old, but the term Hinduism is a description for Indian religions that started in the 19th century. So the 19th century isn't that far back. It's not that long ago, so it's enough to be developed um, and legit. So Hindu is used by foreigners, um, but not practitioners. Practitioners may refer to the religion as the Satana Dharma or the eternal way. Um, so philosophy and religion, many, many Indians debated whether Hinduism um, with no central authority or scripture should be understood as a religion. Um, a religion or more of a philosophical, philosophical tradition. Um, and in my eyes, being a Christian, I do consider Hinduism more of a philosophical, uh, philosophical tradition. And I kind of always have, even before digging into this. Um, so thus, it's worth discussing the relationship between Hindu philosophy and theism. Um, the Vedas were largely uh, theistic. In polytheist and theistic, meaning modern Hinduism spans for a wide, wide range of beliefs. So there's a lot of um, debate. There's a lot of understanding when it comes to Hinduism, and a lot of um, kind of uh, personal opinions that are uh, inflicted upon this. So in Hinduism, the term Ishavana is the generic name for God and should not be confused with any specific Vedic deity. So Ishvana Varna is kind of like an Allah or a God for us. Um, it is going to be the overall being. So with Ved Vedic deities, like I was speaking about um, in the previous video I did before this, there's a multitude of them. So I do think it's neat that in Hinduism, they do designate one personal God. So Ishvana is a supreme personal power who rules the cosmos. Brahman is usually an impersonal absolute reality. So theism and the darshanas um, of the six schools, Hindu philosophy, only two do not accept the concept of Ishvarna, meaning one God. Um, so that's kind of where um, we see Hinduism uh, kind of branch out and change a little bit as what um, each is accepted. So Samaka, which is one of the schools that doesn't accept Ishvarna, is an atheist school that argues the material world um, cannot originate from a sentient element meaning one person, Ishvarna. So here we see um, Hinduism does fight with the idea of an overall god. Um, however, that is what I do find neat. Um, the world is uncreated. All changes in the world naturally arise out of the inherent qualities um, and their uh, interactions.